hi guys welcome to my youtube channel um on this channel you guys haven't been seeing my face yeah and that's because i have actually been battling with acne yeah the water in canada is actually hard and full of chlorine and it's really um, destroying my face yeah so that's why most time i actually don't put my face on my videos but anyways thank you so much for tuning in to this channel so welcome to another video this video is actually for people that are in nigeria and they are getting ready to come to canada so i wouldn't want you to forget most of the things that you're supposed to bring here because um i didn't really get any video that would tell me on things that i'm supposed to bring here and now i'm i'm looking for people in nigeria to help me buy those things so i wouldn't want you guys to make the mistakes i made and that's why i'm making this video so yeah you have received your passport and your visa stamp is on it yay congratulations um i was like you too when i got my passports and saw my visa stamps on my passports um i was really happy and i started preparing for my journey to canada so in my previous video the video i made when i was coming to canada i did some um, clips about what you should take into the um, plane so that you don't get stranded in on the plane you get so um in this video i'm going to be talking about things that you will bring that you're supposed to use in canada that although you can find them here but they are very expensive and back home they are cheap way way cheaper compared to canada so i'm just going to um dive into those things so that you guys can start buying them immediately because some of you will be traveling very soon and you really need this stuff the first thing that you actually need oh i won't say the first thing what you need is cream so if you know that you are this kind of person that you don't change cream you don't change soap i would advise you to get your cream and soap whatever you need for your skin i would advise you to get them from nigeria because you see this canada it will take you back to your former color <laughs> okay well it will take you back to your previous color like if you bleached or you were using lighting cream it's going to take you back to that color yeah so for example like me now i won't hide it i was using lightning cream in nigeria and when i came here they don't sell lightning cream you won't see lightning cream to buy even if you're going to see it's carol white <laughs> and those carol white they sell them in african shops and you know those cream so you're going to go back to square one yeah so because i have a lot of people that they tell me that i've returned back to my color i've returned i'm even darker like i'm very very dark yeah you're gonna get dark because this water it's like you using you see swimming pool water back in nigeria when you it's like using swimming pool water to bath every day day and night because i can imagine when i used to go and swim in nigeria when i come out of that water like i used to get dark so it's like using sumipo water to bath because the water here is like it's as if they you reuse it when you use that water to bath it will refine and then come back to you again that's what you use to bath so that's how it's it is here so carry your cream and your soap secondly you know i used to watch on youtube when they would say carry your clothes uh, carry your clothes don't let them deceive you that you don't need those clothes yeah, don't let them deceive you i used to watch it on youtube and then my mom told me ah 
don't not carry any clothes. What if they carry all those um, Nigerian clothes? What if they carry those clothes? Come to fair, not carry all those clothes. We'll buy them here. Yeah, because now I can count the clothes I have. It's not cheap to buy clothes. But anyways, I'm proud because I buy um clothes from thrift. Even the thrifts, well, thrifts you can get some thrifts um clothes from five dollars, fifteen, four dollars, five upward. Yeah, you can get clothes, but new clothes for jeans should be talking about sixty dollars. Yeah, so buy your clothes in Nigeria and especially tights. I regret. Mm. I regret not buying tights in Nigeria. Now I'm only struggling with one tights here. So buy tights. You see, tights, bra, um, pants. Still buy pants. All of them join. So buy your tights. I cannot overemphasize this. Buy tights. Buy tights. Now there was a day I went to a shop to buy this book and um, to buy notebook sorry and then i saw that the notebook was seven dollars hmm? like not exercise exercise book 40 leaves was it was 40 leaves i saw seven dollars and i'm like eh? is this how someone is going to be buying book in this country so if you are coming, although someone told me that you can get um, cheap books from Dollarama, yeah, there's a um, shop here, Dollarama, that can get books for maybe a dollar or two dollars. So although I haven't checked, but that was what they told me after I bought that book for seven dollars. But if you know you have some free space in your bag, you know, Instead of you to let that free space waste, buy a exercise book and put there. Don't let those people take your remaining 3 kg. Buy a exercise book and put there. It's going to help you. I'm also going to talk about hair. It's not cheap to do hair here. Yeah. You'll be doing your hair for like $100. We're not even talking about the extension. Just braiding the hair is from hundred dollars upward so bring a lot of wigs wigs if you are the type that um okay maybe this period i know you bought a lot of things you spent money and all that you can just be managing synthetic but just bring something you can be managing synthetic yeah but just bring something bring hair because i don't even can you see my hair this hair now is going to two months and i'm not even tired of it <laughs> yeah so this hair is going like two months and i'm not tired of it okay so because why i'm saying that you should bring wigs during the winter you can't open your hair so at least the wig can help you cover and then before you wear your winter cap or whatever but bring wigs so that you can be changing not wearing one particular wig you can just change what you are wearing do you get okay and then if you're if you're also, as you're also coming do braids they advise that you do braids because those braids will last you longer before you will not find your way into things find your way to either um get um looking for a cheaper salon that can do your hair or start changing your your wigs do you get then sponge and toothbrush essential me i like hard brush like wisdom brush that's what i like these things are essential because when you come here and then you buy toothbrush you'll be disappointed it will look like you're not brushing the brush are so soft so i would advise you to get your toothbrush if you are this type of person that loves um strong brushes um i would advise you to get your brush from nigeria and if you also like to um scrub hard you can also get sponge from nigeria because you only get soft sponge here so i said this one in my previous video 
make sure to come with an adapter yeah um i would have showed you the one i brought but that's what i'm using right now for my lights because i actually came from nigeria with my tripod with my what's it called say led light yeah i came i came with it from nigeria and i had to come with an adapter because the plug that it came with was the one that was a uh, that nigeria used so i had to come with an adapter and that's what i'm using but i'm going to put on a picture of how it looks on this video you can also come with sweaters uh, winter jackets um gloves but particularly i advise people to get them here because um they sell quality uh, winter jackets here unlike the ones we have in um, nigeria i think those ones are actually brought from the uk yeah so but you are coming to canada not uk so and canada can get up to like canada can get below minus 40 so they sell um quality winter jackets that can actually match those weathers because by the time you come with many of those winter jackets that you get from nigeria it might not um meet expectation you get you might not meet you might not be able to stand the cold yeah so i would advise that you get um few winter jackets few yeah just get few winter jackets yeah that's what i would advise you to get then you can buy the rest here if you will see these socks if you see it in nigeria i would say buy it but i don't know if you'll be able to see it in nigeria because i got it here um this socks has been saving me from cold yeah saving my feet from cold so if you see it in nigeria you can buy but if not you can buy them here it's not really that expensive so you can buy it here also come with your full stops full stops are not left behind come with full stop don't come with milk oh. don't come with milk come with full stops rice gary palm oil um granuts mm, what else fish um if you can bring small noodles fine because the nigerian one that we eat is very expensive here yeah? so if you want to come with that good if you have a lot enough space for your uh, for those things why not you can bring them um bring your pepper grounded pepper they don't eat pepper here yeah. so any restaurant that you are going to you may not just you just be getting hot sauce hot sauce so you can just put small pepper inside your handbag and anywhere you go you can just spread it on your food because they don't eat pepper here yeah. then if you are coming as a student you know that you're supposed to bring your documents yeah add copy yes letter of introduction yeah. you're supposed to bring those your acceptance letter make sure those things are with you your proof of fund make sure those documents are with you because they're going to ask at the what um poe yeah so make sure your documents are with you in hard copy not soft copy you can have them in soft copy but make sure you print them out then those of you that are coming as a visitor, make sure to buy your return tickets because the Nigerian airport is going to make life hard for you if you don't have your return tickets. Even the airplane says some airplane may not even board you. Yeah, some airplanes may not board you. So you have to make sure that you are with your return tickets back to Nigeria if you are going on a visit or conference yeah so make sure to buy your return ticket so if you are coming as a visitor you know that you're not supposed to bring essays too much especially if you are coming for conference or tourists uh -huh. if you are coming to visit family you can actually bring food stops a lot um 
yeah i don't think you'll be questioned for that you can come with a lot of foodstuffs for your family yeah if you are coming for conference you know that your conference is just to come and attend um um a seminar also or business seminar yeah so why should you be carrying um a lot of food stops what are you coming to do with those two guests and your conference is just for one day and then you are going back to nigeria so what why are you um bringing um a lot of food stops and then for tourists um i don't know but i still advise that just come with little just little food stops in case you wouldn't like the food um they have here and maybe at your airbnb you can cook those food maybe like noodles or what so you can cook them you can bring it to so that's my advice for um visitors come with natives so find natives come with it because you are going to get a lot of um compliments from people from the whites yeah they love our traditional attires so come with your native you rock them to church rock them to school yeah so i would advise you come with enough enough i'm going to show you some of my natives that i rock to church you know i get a lot of compliments from from people then if you're like me if you're the type that love to decorate your room you like your room to look nice and you want to put some stickers on the wall um you can also get those in nigeria because i actually got some from nigeria and it was way cheaper like way cheaper and it didn't even it, it didn't even weigh anything said so if you want to decorate your room you want your room to look nice i advise that you get stickers yeah just get those things that you actually need to decorate your room with get them from nigeria and then i, I i'm sure i've said it on this video that i came with my leg led lights i'm going to put a picture of it also I came with my lead light from Nigeria and that's what I'm using for this video.